Tonight, we're going to visit a positive story about salmon. A rare case where a group of ranchers and agency officials have worked together to improve survival conditions for salmon in the Lemhi River. It's called the Lemhi Model Watershed Project, a cooperative venture that involves ranchers, fisheries biologists, soil conservationists, and a number of state and federal agencies. The program began in 1989 well before salmon were protected under the Endangered Species Act, because these folks wanted to do something active to protect the salmon. Tell you the truth, first time I thought anything about any of this, I was over here haying one day, and I got to thinking about my dad liking to catch fish. It was a year after he died, and I thought it was a shame there weren't any fish. Like I say, I'm not much of a fisherman, but I'd like to, like to see him there. My kids wanted to fish. I'd like to have them have the opportunity, but there's no opportunity now. As many of you know, the once legendary salmon runs that used to choke Idaho's rivers during the summertime are plunging toward extinction. Historically, the Lemhi River was a very productive spawning area for salmon. Anglers used to catch these impressive lunkers by the dozens. At one time, over 1,700 pairs of Chinook salmon spawned in the Lemhi River in the early 1960s. Last year, however, only 23 pairs spawned in the stream, and this summer, the Lemhi run may be reduced to single digits. Most people agree that eight dams on the Snake and Columbia Rivers are responsible for wiping out the salmon. Those dams are responsible for about 95% of all the man-caused mortality on Snake River salmon. Uh, and the, there's so much money involved here. Uh, there are so many utilities and aluminum industries and waterway transportation people and corporate irrigators that are making billions off of the use of the Columbia and Snake Rivers and at the expense of the fish. And they basically have taken the federal agencies, the Army Corps of Engineers and the Bonneville Power Administration, taken them hostage. And you can't tell the difference now. But even so, ranchers have decided to do their part to improve salmon habitat on the Lemhi River because they want the salmon back. Heck, we, I used to come down here and chase fish all the time. I mean, it was salmon was part of our big deal when we was kids. We used to come down this big pool here, them fat salmon would lodge in here, and man, we'd ride them and chase them and do all kinds of fun stuff. One of the most important aspects of the model watershed project is called the fish flush. From the top of the Lemhi Basin to the Salmon River confluence, ranchers are adjusting their irrigation practices to ensure that a minimum flow remains in the river for salmon, both juvenile fish and adults. In the past, particularly in dry years, irrigation dried up the river, and the salmon had nowhere to go. The new system works like this. Ranchers in the high reaches of the basin start diverting water into their pastures in March to saturate the valley floor and raise the water table. As time goes on, ranchers further down the valley also divert water into their pastures and raise the water table. Once the valley is fully saturated, the water table rises, and so does the flow of the Lemhi River, and then there's enough water for the fish to migrate in and out of the basin. Most of this water is coming from recharge, from irrigation water being put on the ground up above the valley here, and it fills the whole aquifer on the Lemhi, and you have this kind of recharge that'll get back to the river, and this is what keeps our river full all summer long. To make the program work, ranchers have to turn off their irrigation diversions every several days to keep water in the Lemhi for salmon. 25 and 41. The water master keeps a close watch on irrigation diversions to make sure the water is available but none of the ranchers say it's a big sacrifice. Of course, you kind of take a little bit more thought at, you know, at, at what flow is in the river and, and try to either start your water earlier or stagger everybody to turn on. Now everybody's trying to get turned on in April and earlier and staggering it to where there's water is on, you know, instead of everybody just turning on in one day and drying the river to plumb up. 